Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Now I think I'm probably going to go in the opposite direction now, probably. Now that we've cleaned up a fair bit of this area here. Because I want to go... Oh, there's a couple of, I, a couple of Pokemon I kind of want to get here. But I don't know where they are. Ah, it's a shame. It's a real shame. It's just mushrooms on the ground. Thought I was seeing a Pokemon, but nope, it's fine. Anyway, I'm probably going to go to the other side of the world because we have... Few things that we can do. Also, those Pokemon on the thing? There are Pokemon on the thing, on the tree. You don't see that much. Uh, but if we go to our profile, I think. No, hang on. If we zoom out on the map, that's the one. I can't, I can never remember. Zoom out all the way. We can see that we've done three Victory Road, th uh, two Starfall, and three Path of Legends. So I think I'm going to go towards this next Starfall Street. And then go up to do some more gyms, or go down to do more gyms. And we only have two more, um... Titan Pokemon to go find. That That's also a thing we can go do once we've done a few more gyms as well, so... Or after the Starfall Street, or... But it's weird. we can do anything, basically. There's no limit to what we can do, basically, so... Uh, but first let's go down into the world. Tempted to check that out. I think we should go... Where am I? This is not where I thought I was. I don't think. Hang on, let me... No, that's up right. Down here. I was so confused of where I was. The camera moved for some reason on the map. Because it's weird. No, wait a minute. Did it? Or is there just... There's just a completely similar spot with the same dragon thing. That... I'm so super confused now. Uh, so let's probably go from here and go up towards the next Starfall Street. There's also quite a fair bit of this area that I'm probably not going to explore for a while. I might explore it later on, once I'm looking for more of the hidden stakes and more Pokemon that I don't have yet. That's the plan at least, so... Need to keep training my Pokemon as well. Which shouldn't be too bad since we're a bit overleveled. Only a bit, but still. Also, so nice being able to jump now. Jump high, that is. It's so nice. I don't think I was paying any attention to the music last time I was here. Because I don't remember this. It's pretty cool, actually, so. Also, I, th I would have thought that being here would have, would have unlocked a picnic spot, but I guess not. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the Pokemon. Why am I looking at the Pokemon? Where's the Pokemon? Oh, it's there. It's the Gumi on the table. Just gonna heal up, because I don't remember when I last healed. It probably wasn't that long ago. And now, I don't think I've fought against you yet, so let's do that as well. I can't even get close. Well, that's a shame for you. I want to get to the peak, but I can't even get close. Why not? There are no boulders up there anymore. Enrique the student. That's the best way I can say that name. Pinico? Pinico? It's, it's just a pine cone. It's just literally, literally a pine cone. That's kind of amazing, actually. Ah, uh, let's headbutt. Because I think that will work out well. Except that it's protecting itself, of course. Just what I need. Also, I see that Gimmigool over there. On the sign. So I'm going to go get that in a second. All four pixels there that I can see, I shall go get. It's more like six pixels, but anyway. Maybe even more. So many pixels. It's crazy. Also, there's a second Pokemon after this one. Stops protecting itself. Also, I guess I could probably get the Gimmigool on top of the, the windmill now. Please don't protect yourself, thank you. Pineco fainted. Because I think I can jump high enough now. Sending out Nimble, let's just keep current Pokemon. Everything's effective. Cool. Nimble fainted. You should have started with that one. Anyway. 
You're even wilder than the rolling boulders. Also, well, I kind of wish there was a, a way to keep track of, like, on the map or something. In, like, in, something in game that told you how many trainers were left in an area. Because I feel like that'd be very useful. Just to be able to know how many more there are. Just because of, uh, me being a completionist and have to get every single item and every single trainer and every single Pokemon. I just want to know how much is left. Anyway, let's grab that Gimme Ghoul. Let's jump down. Onto the bridge! No Gimme Ghoul on this bridge. But there is one right here, and I think I got a Drift Loom already, right? Just correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I got a drift, drift, drift Loom. Was well, apparently Drift Looms like to make kids go missing, apparently. Possibly if they grab onto it. Is that another Gimme Ghoul I see? I think it is. How did I see that from so far away when it was not even showing because it was popping in and out of existence? I don't know, but I got it, so that's good. Kind of grab all these items and somehow got this without falling off. Please. Please. Oh look, an item. An item. Give me the item. Oh, I got it. Cool. Thunderstone. I guess it's because my Pokemon is just wandering around. Speaking of Pokemon wandering around, here's one that I'm going to fall on top of and get into a fight with. Get him. I like saying that for some reason, even if it, I've, I've said it a million times already. Well, so that Pokemon Center isn't that far away, and neither is the next Starfall Street. We're doing good. Other than just getting into more than enough fights. I taught my Pokemon all sorts of strong moves using TMs, you know? Believe it. Candy, C Candina, the model. Okay. Do we have anything effective? Uh, the answer is yes. Everything is still effective. Gonna use headbutt again because that seems to be working out for me. What actually does the most damage? It is headbutt that does the most damage. Although. Gyroball, I think, or Gyroball. I still can't figure that out. Could probably be good. Possibly, except not quite. Maybe? I might. I don't know. No, not really. Headbutt. Also, I guess Gyroball would be doing better if it was my- because it's my stab move, but it still wasn't doing that well, so... If it wasn't my stab move, I'd be worried about it. Ah, uh, let's just go... With current Pokemon. Sent out Luxio. Intimidate. I might sludge it. That sounds like a swear. Oh boy, yeah. I'm in trouble, but I might be alright. If I can get this hit to work, thank you. Cool. I need to make even stronger TMs. That's not how that works, but that would be cool if that was how it works, it could, except that would be really overcomplicating things more than they already are. Now, is there anything else in this area before I move on? Probably not that much, really. I think we've actually been on this area when we're coming down the mountain. I want a quick escape button. Can I have that? A quick run. Also a TM over here. Maybe it's a strong one. It's Metal Claw. I don't know. I, I would assume that's pretty good. Also, I don't think... No, I think I do have that one. But I'll fight it anyway. And by fight it, I mean cheer on my teammates, because that's probably the easiest thing to do when you go into a terror raid battle by yourself, is just to cheer your allies. It's it's good th it's a good thing to be able to do just because you don't need to worry about what type you go in with. Psychic type, interesting. 
Do I actually have something effective because that? I mean, I've got a normal type move, so... That can work. Oh yeah, I have assurance. Let's do that. It's super effective. And somebody's cheering on. Oh, that's also super effective. Right. Because it's normally a f fire type, so it has fire type moves. Anyway, we won. Also, don't know why it doesn't show you if you've caught the Pokemon in a terror raid battle. Because I feel like that's a helpful thing to have. But anyway, also I've, I've noticed that the compass doesn't have the all the angles marked, and it, it's it's starting to bug me. It, it's not really that bad of a thing, but it's it's just starting to bug me for some reason. Anyway, let's head down the slope, I guess. Although I do want to check quickly if there's anything else up this way. This actually leads exactly to where it was. Okay, cool. Don't don't need to worry about that. There's a lot of Pokemon over here, though. Some random manky fur on the ground as well. Also, what is happening with the overlay? It's fine. It's just stuff overlapping with itself. I might get off of Coridon while I'm going up this because it's pretty easier. Look at me go! I'm getting stuck again. Is it? Why you do that? Ah, ah! I'm not. I'm fine. Tailwind. TM. Okay. Head back down. Did I get the item? I think I did. Cool. I don't even touch- I'm not even touching you. I'm getting mad now. I think the worst part about this is I'm overleveled, so I'm- I don't really need to fight anything here at all. It'd still be good to do, because then I get a little bit of XP, even if it's just a bit. And it's for all my Pokémon, so... But I'm still getting a little bit mad, especially when my Pokemon don't get sent out when I'm sending them out. Can I, can I, can I reach this without getting stuck up here, this way? Possibly. Also, where are you, my Pokemon? Pokemon? There we go. That was weird. Now I can't remember if I caught this thing as well. Also, a timid mink mint. Make a speed stat stronger, but something else is goes down or something. Uh, the answer is I have not caught this, and I am a similar level to it, so I'm going to sludge it. It shouldn't be that hard to catch this, probably. As long as I'm careful not to poison it. Now I'm burned. That's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Assurance. Please don't kill it. Will-O-Wisp. The room is already burned, though. Cut by burn. Let's bring it down a little bit more. I think I can do it again, probably. Incinerate. It's super effective. Just holding on just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Hit it again. Assurance, please don't kill it. Okay, that's pretty close. Let's go with that. Nightshade. And Vroom's fainted. Choose next Pokemon. Why does it take so long for that to appear? I don't know. But it's fine. Mold Breaker. Breaks the mold. Ah, uh, let's just... Great ball for now. Okay, nope. I can also try a timer ball, possibly. Especially now that that first shot failed. Timer ball. One. Caught, cool, nice. Easy. Timer balls are incredible. Especially if you ha if you start the battle off with quick balls. Just all the balls. It's super effective. Anyway, fire type. 
Another Pokemon in I'm interested in, in leveling up. I don't want to level up my Pokemon off screen because I want to also show all of the evolutions and stuff for Pokemon on screen. Even though it's not really that interesting to see the different evolutions, it's all the same basically in terms of how they evolve. But I still want to show it, so I don't know. Show the progress on everything. Let's challenge this Slowpoke. Should be good. Wow, I opened my eyes. And right in front of me, it was the sun. But actually, it was just a flying... It's just a flying type... Oh, wow. Slowbro. Slowbro bro with balloons. It's very amusing. Also, the Slowbro eye in the background. Anyway. Let's... Uh... Gyro... Gyro Ball. Gyro Ball. I, I don't know. Did that do anything? Apparently not. Maybe it didn't update, because I'd also believe that. It didn't update. Cool. Confusion. It's fine. I might try cheering, because that pro is pretty easier than what I'm currently doing. Especially if my Varum's gonna fall asleep. Go all out! Special attack stat, Rose. This is fine. Go all out. I don't know who else is actually attacking right now. No powder bite. It's almost there. Go all out. Really raise the stats of the Pokemon. Go team. How is it still alive? How is it still up? I guess it is the power of the slow bro, so... Assurance. Just make sure we finish this. Except it's already finished before I even get my attack in. No, it is. It's still alive. Okay. But I'm still asleep as well, so... It worked. What? What? Okay, it's fine. Uh, don't catch. I can't remember what the types of Slowbro are, but I, I don't need that right now. I'm not trying- I'm not metering this just yet. I mean, I'm probably not going to meta this at all, but, you know, I can dream. I wish I was more focused to meta things. But it's fine. Fighting types are the best. No, you're the best. Also, did my room get restored? I think it did. Black belts just have to choose fighting type Pokemon. Now that is not true. John the black belt. Metatite. Okay. Uh, I don't know what's effective against fighting right now. I'm not... Uh, maybe, I don't know. Let me try Sludge. I mean, it wasn't... Oh, wow. It wasn't effective, but it did poison it, and that's actually going to finish it off for me. Perfect. Wow. What a good round. And that's all the Pokemon he has. I feel like we should have... like the, the, the trainers we're fighting right now should have more Pokemon than this. We've seen a few with more, but... Not that many. I guess it's not really a normal thing for Pokemon games to just have... Pokemon trainers with lots more... Pokemon all the time. Like, sometimes it's... More than... Like, sometimes there's more and sometimes there's less. It's just not... All, all one thing, all the time. Take this item, please. Luxury ball. And... A great ball, times three. Cool. So I want to train some more, if I can. How much XP am I actually getting from this? 
44. It's a slow process at the moment with the levels that we are at. Not because of how little XP we're getting, but because of how much XP that we need. Basically how it goes. It was carrying a coin. Cool story. I'm trying to find a little Pokemon carrying a coin. Yasmin the student. Sent out Teddy, Teddy Ursa. Oh, it should be good then. Especially because it's level 16. Baby doll eyes. For room's attack fell. That's okay. We just have to take an extra turn apparently. There's also another Pokemon after this. Attack fell again. That's not good. It's starting to become a concern, but we're alright. Critical hit, that's good. Just guarantees victory. Okay, what's next? Uh, Tinker Tink. Which is... Interesting. I might have seen that earlier and didn't realize it. Let's just sludge. Baby doll eyes. Attack fell, fell some more. Doesn't affect the Tinker Tink. Assurance? It's not very effective. Interesting. Rock Smash. Defense fell. Now that's not a good thing. Charable. Covet. It. It's not very effective. Good. Ah, uh, let's try Headbutt. It's not very effective, but it did more damage, so that's good. Critical hit. Headbutt again. Almost there. Rock smash. Defense fell some more. And let's finish this off. It's not very effective, but it does what it needs to. So it is effective. Kind of. I'm trying so hard, but I can't find it. I just stare into the tall grass. It's not that tall grass, but you know. I guess it is kind of tall, now that I'm looking at it. There's so much area to explore. There's so much walkable area. Also, hello. Please. Please. Thank you. It's a bit slow while you're on your legendary, apparently. Numble. Uh, how do I not absolutely destroy you? Probably with... Assurance. <laughs> wow. And I saw another one in the background, so I'm just gonna use a Pokeball for this, if I can figure out where they are. Pokeballs used to be a problem. But now I've got so many balls. Nice catch. Fire ground. I didn't expect fire out of that, to be honest. That's cool. I accept. I've already got fire type a fire type though, so I'm gonna leave that. B Please grab the item. Also, why aren't you fighting? Fight the Pokemons. Get them. We're about to get to a Pokemon Center anyway, so I think I've broken just to do that a bit. And the Team Starbase is just ahead. I'll probably get to that later on, though. Not right now. You've been winning, you're winning, son. You defeated 11 trainers here. Here's your prize Clear Amulet, an item to be held by a Pokemon. This clear sparkling amulet protects the holder from having its stats lowered by moves against it or by other Pokemon's abilities. That sounds... incredible. Like, that sounds incredible. I... I, I really like the sound of that. Uh, what's the one which I give Pokemon? I think it's this one, right? Yes. Just need to find it. 
somewhere down here. There's a lot more things than there used to be. Uh, I also have the punching glove, if I want that. But I think I'll give this to... Uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's fine. Uh, also... I don't know what these are. The Terra Shards. It's fine. I've also got some XP candy I can probably use a little bit of. Just to bring up... the room. Wants to learn Poison Jab. I will... I'll consider... 80 power, 100 accuracy. Wants to get rid of Assurance. I'm... I can vibe with that. I shall vibe with that. It's just pretty easy to use the XP candy than it is to use the Pokemon around me right now. Also, Gardevoir is now the least leveled, so I'm gonna... Oh, there's only a f two of these. I'll do one, and then I'll use the other one on Varun, probably. Okay, that feels good. Uh, let's quickly check to make sure there's no... What's it called here? Uh... No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. I can't remember what they're called. Gimmigool. There's no Gimmigool there. So let's explore a little bit before we go to Team Star. Probably next time. Hello. What are you doing over here? A lovely prize. I want a lovely prize. Let's battle. I will accept your Poké Dollars. Naria the student. Sent out Dunspar. Dun Dunspars. I can't read Pokemon names. Ah, uh, Poison Jab. That'll work. The game probably wants you to go in one direction, then just keep going in that direction, instead of going back and forth on, on both sides of the world. Ah, this doesn't add to my win count. Except that if you don't go back and forth, then... You're just going to have to be overpowered for the entire half. But I mean, I guess if you do it the way I'm doing it, you'll just be overpowered for the last half... ...of the game, maybe. Although it should balance out eventually, probably. I would imagine it would, at least. Also, there's a tower here. That's pretty good. Might check that out, if I can. There's also some ruins. Which is highly likely for, uh... Himigul. Also, hello, Phalanx. I would try to shout that out if I remember. <laughs> How do I not absolutely destroy? Uh, I probably just go. I don't have a thing. Uh, Ultra Ball, go! It's fine. I know what I'm doing. One, two, failed. Okay. Phalanx use protect. That doesn't matter. Ultra Ball again. I'm having to rely on luck for this. Nope. Phoenix is a very cool looking Pokemon. Okay, please, 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 please. Nope. Why? How am I supposed to catch this? It's protecting itself again, okay. It's not being very offen off offensive right now. Ah, uh, Netball, Bug, Water, Luxury Ball, Very friendly after being caught. I think I'm just going to use a Timer Ball. It should be the most effective one at this point, after the amount of turns that I've wasted on Ultra Balls. Three, and caught, nice. I want to decorate Pokeballs now. Make it look like a... What, what's the Pokemon we just caught? A Phalanx, I want to make it look like a Phalanx. Also, that's Fighting type. I didn't expect that, but I... That's cool. Makes it more cool than it already was, which it was pretty cool, so that's... It's quite a cool Pokemon. I'm not just saying that. It's just... It, I just like the way it looks. <laughs> if I use it, it'll probably work out really well for me as well, maybe. Max Revive, just randomly out there. Anything else? Another item over here. Ah, don't fall off. It's fine. I'm fine. 
So it looks like there's more edge of this area, but I'm also going to go back into the ruins now. More phalanx, but also... This thing. Tink, tinker tink. Uh, how do I... Again. I'm having this problem again. I'm too strong, sludge. I don't... I don't know if this is going to work. Doesn't affect. Okay, cool. I can hear the gimmigool. Somewhere. I'll find it in a minute. Let's throw an Ultra Ball. Nope. Come on, please. One, two. Oh my goodness. I might have to use another thing again. I feel like I should, I should be better at catching Pokemon by this point because I have a couple of gym badges, which should make it easier. One, two, three. Just a regular Premier Ball. Cool. I'll take it. Fairy Steel. Another tempting Pokemon. I think this one's a, a popular one right now. So it's definitely... Con, 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 it, it's definitely up for consideration. I thought the crystals were on top of the, the thing here, the ruins. Also, I'll grab this. There's another trainer over there. There's another gimmickle over here. All of the things everywhere. There another Gimme Ghoul somewhere? There's a Pokemon right underneath me somehow. Also another Pokemon that I haven't caught yet. That I've been trying to find it somewhere. A Bronzor. Premier Ball, go! We could have found this a lot earlier as well. Back where we found the first Titan Pokemon basically. Just in that area somewhere you can find it. Confused, that's okay. Try a great ball. One, two. Nope, I'm really struggling to catch Pokemon. Payback? Okay. Ultra Ball. One, two, three, and caught. Cool. Nice, thank you. I might also switch Pokemon for the moment since we've already got uh, the room leveled up. Steel Psychic. Pretty cool. Also, hello. It's nice of you to walk right on top of me. Just gonna throw you out that. Let's switch to Gardevoir. Since God of War is the lowest leveled currently. I think I'm going to quickly do the Gimme Ghoul at top of the ruins. Just very, very quickly. Just need to climb. Climb, 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 climb. Do it. Climb. Climb all the way. Is there anything else here? No Gimme Ghoul. Okay. Climb, 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 climb. More level. Also another TM, low sweep. There's the next team star base right there. Oh, there's a stake there as well. Another yellow one. There's also TM up there. So much area to look at. It's kind of nice. Anyway, Gimmigool. Ah, uh, let's just take it out. It's only level 15, so... Should be simple enough. We get more Gimmigool coins. I want to see how many I, I have at this point. Also, how am I standing on the edge? How? Ah, uh, Gimmigool coin sorted by... 
Uh, name. Chemical coin, 452. That's pretty cool. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.